Hey guys, it's Neff here. And it's episode 3 of our Let's Play. Woot! So, yeah. So we've got lots to do today. In fact, today is one of the more interesting episodes we have planned. So I'm just going to get straight into it. Because today... Today is the day we build better than wolf stuff. Which is awesome. So first we make a fire pit. Oh, and I want to say thanks to all the guys who pointed out why the grass is so goddamn hard to dig and why it takes so long. It's apparently to do with the Seasons mod. Whoops. And so, um, yeah, there's not much we can do about that, but uh, thanks for pointing that out. That was doing my head in. Seriously, it was. Da -da -da. Dug myself in a hole. Oh, and of course I forgot to mention, I have been doing a little bit of work while off-camera, because uh, I said again last episode that uh, I was going to build an epic mine, and I sure as hell wasn't going to film all that, like just digging for hours. And the reason is... this. <laughs> you can see now, you saw me starting at the last episode, I mean, like, this is down to bedrock, this thing is epic. I mean, you can see how deep this is. This took forever to freaking build, or dig, even. But anyway, you get the point. And so because of that, yeah, I didn't really want to film all that, it was just going to be boring as hell. But yeah, we, we, no, we eventually done that. And the bright side is, if we look in here, we now have stuff! This is all the stuff I got from it. I mean, like, look, I got lapis, like, loads of lapis. Redstone, you get, once you get redstone, you get tons. And so I have pretty much all the basics. In fact, there's actually lava down there as well, which is really good. So with that, I can um, go to the nether if I want to. Won't go just yet, but I have the option. And so, yeah, back to what we're doing. Oh, as well, the farm. Duh, jeez. So this here is a hemp farm. And yes, I know what you're thinking, hemp. It is that kind of hemp, but at the same time, you don't use it for that. Um, I mean, when you consider back, you know, like in ancient times and all that, they actually used hemp to make, like, uh, fiber, cloth, rope, that sort of thing. So uh, that's what this is for. So basically, you grow hemp, you harvest that, and you turn it into hemp fibers. And then with that, you make rope. And the rope has tons of uses. But that's going to take a while to come to fruition. Like, even that, that's not grown yet. It has to go, like, too high. So we're going to leave it there for a while. In the meantime, let's make stuff. And so I'm gonna need some wood. And I know I can do this more efficient. I know you're all screaming at the screen right now, but like, come on. It's just to show it off. So here's my fire pit. And now I need to, something to go in the fire pit. And for that, I need, I made a little infinite water thing here because it was going crazy running to my stream all the time. So take some water. Oops. I don't really want to keep that in my hotbar, actually. That could end badly. So anyway, and I also need some bones. That sounded weird. Anyway. Bones! That was worse. So, yeah. We make a big old steel bowl. Or iron, even. And we need a bone. And some water. And we get a cauldron. And that may sound weird, but actually the cauldron is very practical. And I will show you that now. So basically we plunk this here. And with this, it's sort of like a massive furnace. So I mean, like basically, if you look at this here, you can see we have all these slots. I can throw a ton of food in here. And then if I light this up, it'll actually cook because of the fire. It doesn't use coal, it just uses the, um, the fire underneath. And so with that, it'll then actually uh, cook everything inside. It does it one by one. And so it's great if you have like a ton of pork chops, you know, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Pull them all in and out slowly of the um, of the furnace. But this way you don't have to, you know, it'll just do them all. Like you can just walk away for hours and it'll come back and it'll all be done. And sorry I got distracted there, my goddamn speaker just went off. You ever get that thing, you know, where like a, you get a text message and your speaker decides to go crazy and it just does your head in? Especially because mine are very loud. Now what was I doing? That's a very good question. Oh yes, the, the oak. The, um, the food, yes. So just to show this all off, grab some raw stuff here, and we plunk all of this in the cauldron. And then with no further ado, get the fire going. You can do this with like just one block, but uh, it goes faster if you use like nine. So yeah, you can see we're cooking it all out, and it does it one by one. And yeah, so it's really handy. I mean again, I could walk off, leave that there, come back, and it'll all be done. So it's, uh, it's really nice. And as well, it's not just, it has other uses. I mean, for one thing, the cauldron isn't the only thing you can use with the fire to cook. But we'll get into all that later. And so yeah, that's the cauldron. And now for some mechanical stuff, because we haven't touched on the mechanical stuff at all. And we really should. So now the basic part of most of the mechanical stuff is a gear. 
Now, a lot of mods use gears, but this one's actually quite practical. So, let's just do this. Make some gears. And I need some cobble. Thankfully, I have all the cobble I could ever want. And da 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 Put that there. And some sticks. I'm gonna make two, and it makes a hand crank. You can see I have like a gear, like in the stone and some leather, like a stick. And so, uh, yeah, makes hand cranks. And the hand cranks are sort of like levers. But the thing about a hand crank is it actually supplies things with mechanical power. It's basically the most basic form of mecha mechanical power out there. So, it won't look like much right now because it just powers nothing. So if I do this... And that will power anything that's around it. It's really basic, but it, it works for the fundamentals. And so now we're going to build something we can actually use that for. So I need a gear. And some smooth stone. And this makes a millstone. And the millstone actually grinds stuff down. So this is great if you have like a windmill, you can grind stuff down. So basically I'll throw this here. I'm watching because like bad stuff comes out at night. I hate more creatures. It scares the crap out of me sometimes. It's like, ah, peaceful day then. Ogre! Oh my god! Ah! And you run away. So yeah, it's not nice when the ogre smashes your house and your bed and your chests and everything. And in fact, on that note, I might just call it a night right here and come back to this in the morning. Because I just, I don't want to go there. Just, just never again. Just no. And we're sleeping. Now it's a brand new day and all. And now, I'm going to use the millstone. You can see here we have slots here and a little gear up here. What this will do, if I power this, it'll basically, you won't see it now, but this will fill up. And so with that it'll actually grind all the stuff you put in here. And you can grind all sorts of things, like um, you can grind hemp to make hemp fibers. And you can also grind leather, and the reason for grinding leather is to scour it. So I'll try that now. Let's throw all this in here. And if I do this, you can see the gear starts to fill up. Takes a few attempts. This is quite a manual process and obviously not the most attractive thing in the world, but the whole point of this is eventually you would mechanize this. Like you would get like a windmill or a water wheel, and they would power it for you, you know? So anyway, you can see there we got some scoured leather. And with this we can actually make other stuff. I mean like, you know, you don't really normally use leather for much in Minecraft, it's just for armor. But in Better Than Wolves you can actually scour it, tan it, and turn it into like straps and belts, and you can use them for all sorts of things. I'm just gonna do a few here. And that should do. And also, you notice stuff just pops out of this thing, it doesn't wait inside. And the thing about that is you can actually build a thing called a hopper later on and that'll collect stuff. But I'll get into all that later. And so yeah, we have some scoured leather. I also need to tan it. Now the funny thing is how you tan stuff. You tan leather by basically... Well, let's just say it requires wolves. So I'll see if we can find some wolves. If I can't, it'll be actually a big pain in the rear because I need them. I need them badly. Oh, and this could take a while to find them. Damn it. There's never a goddamn wolf when you need one. I mean, like, any other time, they're everywhere, but... When you need one, they infect off somewhere. Pardon my French, even though it's not French. In fact, feck is technically a normal word in Irish. If you were to speak Irish, you can say it like a verb, and it's, like, totally clean. Oh my god, no wolves! Oh, do shut up! In fact, give me your leather. Come on, die! Come on! Don't you run away from me! I'm gonna get you! Oh my god! It's like he's trying to get away from me. No, I mean, in fairness, wouldn't you? But still. Oh my god! Ah! I'm gonna turn to fire in a minute. Oh, get back here! Let's stop sticking goddamn keys. Oh my god, this is like the great escape. I've never seen a deer. Ah! Yes! We did it! Okay. Enough. And we still have no goddamn wolves. Oh, and horses. Everyone was saying tame a horse. I will tame a horse soon. In fact, I should really do that. That'll make it easier to find a wolf. Tame a horse, run around for ages. I think you need, like, what's it? Wheat? Maybe some other stuff? I don't know, is it sugar? I don't know. I don't play most creatures that much, so I don't really know. This is where you help me out in the comments. Just say it. Holy crap. Wow. Does that go somewhere? No, it's just like a massive drop for no reason. 
Ah, oh, screw it. Oh, and a lot of people were saying I go kind of quiet sometimes. I mean, in fairness, it's, I'm just trying to, like, focus on a lot of things here, so sometimes when I'm, like, on the game... What you looking at? Come here. Come on! Gah! Why? Because I can! Okay, Angry Neff is angry. Let's not go there. Anywho, what the frick was I doing? I totally lost track this episode. It's the most random episode we've had. Give me hemp. But I'm um, actually in the next episodes. I know a few of you have been complaining. I haven't really been using the mods much, but in the next few episodes, I'll be really using them. I mean, in fairness, I think for four or five, I kind of plan to airships. And so, yeah, because I mean, for one thing, I need to find stuff, and it's just easier to like cover more ground that way. So I might do that. And oh, there's no freaking wolves. It is so very annoying. I'm probably going to have to wait until next episode to show you that. Hey, do shut up. I'm not going to chase it, not going to chase it. No, 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 no not going to chase it. No. I'm not going to waste like, another five minutes of episode time doing that. That'd be kind of crazy. Oh, and of course... Ah, cursor went outside my window. Ooh. Wait, no, it's fine. You can see everything's cooked now, so it's awesome. We have now loads of food. So if he used to attack me, which he's not, he's going to run away. God. Anywho. So yeah, I'm gonna be using a lot more better than wolf stuff at this stage. I need to tan this leather so I can make belts, because when I make belts I can make the saw. And the saw is awesome. With the saw you can actually make like um you can cut like wood blocks in half and into quarter blocks and even eight one eighth blocks. And so um you probably saw them if you watched episode zero. Although I think there was glitched in that episode. But uh yeah, I mean like it's really awesome. You can build like panels and like all these really complex wood things. It's just awesome. It's, it's just awesome. It's awesome. And so anyway, since this episode was kind of a blowout, um, a few things I want to actually say, a few shoutouts. I mean, I rarely actually mention like any of the guys who watch these episodes, even though you've been subscribing for ages and you're all awesome. So um, yeah, I mean, like just a few people who like um, kind of stand out. I mean, for one thing, I've had like some guys sub to me for ages, and I mean, like I, there's just like a few of them. There's like um, Catastrophe with a seven, Cheater Jordan ninety nine, who's been like there from like the start, I think. There's Fizofi, which is just fucking crazy. I mean, he's just like full of energy, that guy. There's Maze Minecraft. He's the guy who told me to give out the seed. And in case I forgot to tell you, the seed is test one two three four, all one word. In fact, on that, I'm kind of a few people said they were going to play on the seed, and I like I haven't really seen anything back on that. Like, if you do use the seed and you do play your own world, like make a video and post it as a response here because I do want to see it. Like, I want to see what you build on the same world. You know, I think it'd be pretty cool if you like came, you know, to the same area, built the same thing, and that sort of yeah, that sort of thing. In fact, in episode four or five. I'm going to build a map and have a look around. And so I'll probably map out my journey from spawn to here. And so you can actually like you know, like follow me as I go along and find out where everything is. Then we make an airship and fly all over the place. Blah. So yeah. And a few other people like... Um, there was one guy masked N6732. He's the only guy who actually noticed we hit 400 subs. Which is awesome! But we did. And I think he's the first person to actually noticed that, so props to him. And as well, there's Supercharged Sean, who is... He basically leaves about 10 comments on every single video I make, so I think I had to mention him. I mean, like, it, it's ridiculous, really. It's like, I know you're watching this, Sean. I know you're leaving comments as we speak. Yeah. So, yeah. And so, yeah. Just basically kind of totally blew this episode out the door. I will probably have the next one up soon, because this one was a blowout. And I'll probably come back when I have some hemp... And as well, when I have some wolves. Oh, and just to describe, but I actually need the wolf four. Basically, to tan leather, you kind of need dung. And so you throw the dung in the cauldron with the leather, and that tans it. It actually sort of makes sense in a way, so don't think I'm just weird. It actually does kind of make sense. And yeah, so I mean, with that, you can tan leather, then make belts, and make awesome stuff. So yeah, I'm going to record that episode soon. Oh my god, there's a horse in there. Die! Oh my god! I don't know. Oh, like, just randomly, a lot of people have been saying, like, you know, like, in the comments that they, like, love my voice and stuff. That's just... I don't know, it's really weird, it's kind of hard. Like, it's kind of weird when people say that. I mean, like, it's, it's awesome, like, it's totally flattering, but, like, it's just, it's it's weird, because, like, I always even think myself that I speak really weird. And so, like, when anyone comes out, it's like, I love your voice! And your face! 
And your insides. In fact, yeah, some guy left a comment, literally said, I love your insides. I mean, like, creepy! So, yeah. But anyway, you're all awesome. I love you all. Mwah! And, uh, yeah, but I mean, like, really, you guys have been really awesome since I started this series. It's, um, I have, like, really loyal subscribers. And so, like, that's awesome. I mean, I don't, I'm not that big yet. I've only, like, a few hundred subscribers, but even with the few I have, these have just been, like, really awesome the whole time. So, uh, and I mean, like, I do read the comments. I do recognize you when you come back, like, oftentimes, you know? And, of course, for those of you who are probably watching this series in the start, and, like, you know, you didn't get shoutouts and stuff, I mean, like, keep in mind that's because you're not leaving comments, you know? I mean, like, I read the comments, and that's where I know you from. Although, of course, keep in mind, YouTube doesn't always show me when I have comments, because YouTube's a biatch. And, uh, yeah, so, I mean, like, it reports, like, a third of the comments I get, and so I do miss comments. If I don't reply, don't take it personally, it's just, you know, YouTube being a bitch. And, um, so, yeah, that was totally random. And I think we're gonna leave it there for now. I'm abandoning the whole half an hour episode thing, because I think it's a little silly. It's it's just kind of impractical. I mean, the last episode wasn't great. It kind of went on for ages and kind of droned on, and... I uh, just, I wasn't really happy with it, so I think the 15 minute episode thing is better. Although this is looking more like 20 at this stage. And yeah, I think we're gonna go with that. And so yeah, next episode will be awesome because we will have saws and we will make panels and do awesome things with them. And we may even start making maps and maybe even airships. But I mean again, I want your guys' thoughts, I want to know what you think. In fact, one last question. I've been thinking about doing, like, um, polls, like, surveys. Like, you know there's those websites you can go to and get, like, uh, you can put up, like, a survey and everyone can go and, like, vote on it? Because, like, a lot of the times when I want to say, like, you know, like, guys, do you want 15 minute episodes or 30 minute episodes? I kind of just read the comments and, like, see what the majority opinion is, but, I mean, the polls would be much more efficient. So, I mean, if you know a good site, like, one that's not full of bullshit, doesn't take two hours to sign up to, um, and it's good, like, uh, maybe let me know about that, and uh, I'll look into it. And so, yeah. I had tons of other stuff to say, but of course I forgot, because that's how it goes. And next episode will be epic! I promise. Really? And... yeah. So... whoop! Later, guys. You're awesome.